This is a short video to help you import the digital demo of how to fail your research degree into the playingcards.io platform. The first thing you will need to do is go to howtofailyourresearchdegree.com and download the file with the extension .pcio from the game resources page. Then you go to playingcards.io and you will scroll down until you find custom room. Click custom room and then click start blank room. You will be given a code. This is what you share with your players uh, when the game has been imported. For now, we're going to click enter and then you will click edit the table. You will see an interface that looks like this. You don't need to worry about any of this because you're going to go to the room options menu and then you will click import from file. You will then be able to select the .pcio file from your file manager. This will upload the entire game. It takes a little bit of time, um, but it will upload the entire game for you so that you can then use it with your students. OK, that's it uh, just about uploaded. So then you will go out of edit mode by clicking the suitcase icon again. And you can see all the cards are here. You click to flip the cards and you drag to place them. What you may want to do is delete these recall and shuffle buttons for when you're using it with students, because if one of them accidentally clicks this button, it will reset the entire game. Uh, I'm sure you can figure out how to do that yourself in the edit functionality. OK, that's it. Um, I would just say two things. One is that playingcards.io will delete your game after a certain period of time. So please check when that is and make sure you don't lose it. You can simply just re-import it and start a new one. The second thing I would like to say is that this, um, because of the, the size of a computer screen, this game will only support two people playing at once or two teams. Um, it can become quite chaotic if you run it with a team of, say, three people on each team. Um, with them all kind of dragging the cards around and getting confused. So I really consider this to be a demo version only. You can use it as a teaching tool or as a, a just a kind of way to build a perfect project after you've played the game itself uh, as a physical game. Um, it, it's not really recommended to use this as your only version of the game, but uh, it's up to you, of course. Okay, I hope this was helpful.